because when we talk of cultural learning, yes, it is really quite great that I sit here and I read something about Germany, and yeah, and so what? Anybody can read it. But now, when you go and you leave the realities, it's different. I know that the team from Berlin, they must have come to Cameroon, they have their own stories about Cameroon that they can write. Yeah, this cooperation started um, within my volunteer year in Germany, in Berlin. I was a volunteer in the VETVATS program at uh, Solidarity Dins International, or in English, Solidarity Service International, um, and a developmental aid organization based in Berlin. So for this period of one year, I was in a group there called Drausicht, which probably in English loosely translated as a um, panoramic view. The videos were, or the topics that we discussed at times were quite mind-tickling that gave me the um, vision that, oh, yeah, if this also was done in Cameroon, in my country, I think many people will use the local, prob the local solutions around them to solve some global problems. So I discussed it with um, Kala Pendarok, the then project manager for Zodi, with my mentor, Daniel Vayant. We discussed this together, how it could work, and yeah, they were really quite optimistic and said, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Well, Godlove and I know each other from the Weltwärts um, Freiwilligendienst before he um, went back to Cameroon after his one year um, in Germany. He decided to, to present to Zodi and me and our colleagues um, the idea of uh, starting a group here in, in Bamenda and um, we thought that that's great, a great idea. And it happened just so soon than I could even expect because just six months of time into, into Germany, the cooperation is already big that we have eight young, talented people coming from Germany to join those in Bamenda so that we could like work on the cooperation and also empower ourselves and as well as work on um, intercultural learning, yeah. So far, uh, the team from Berlin had met on several occasions to plan for their coming to Cameroon and uh, had seminars on the, their expectations and the rest. And uh, they arrived here on the 25th of March 2017 at the Douala International Airport. Hello. And from there, um, we moved to, to Bamenda and welcomed with the team here in Bamenda. We have three goals in mind, basically. The first, the first is to um, actually get to know each other, to get to know the team and also to get to know like this whole um, culture, reality here in Cameroon, to know what we're talking about basically and also for the team in Bamenda to get to know us and, and know like just know our faces and everything. The cooperation, like so far, I think we made all very good experience with the people here. We are having a lot of fun and also many people are joining. Like also I think people here, they have their 
works or they go to university, still a lot of people joining the projects and also the teams are mixing up. So uh, we have Germans and Cameroonians in one team. I really like that. And now we yeah, decided to all, like, all of the people are invited to live in the same house. Also that helps to like, make the team spirit stronger. We are just getting to know each other, getting to know our partners from Bermuda while they're getting to know us from Berlin. And it's, it's amazing how many things we've done together. Um, uh, the second goal was to work on video projects together. Um, I mean, that's probably the most important thing that we want to do with this project, to, to produce films and films on global issues uh, that, that can create some kind of impact. Drowsage project is a film, it's a kind of uh, cooperation project between uh, uh, filmmakers from Germany and those from Cameroon and they always come together from time to time to make films about the society, the evolution of society and this time when they came they decided to make films about uh, issues that are pertaining to Africa and Cameroon in particular, especially the Cameroon society. Yeah. Like uh, we have a film about um, the the disposition of waste in the in the in the, in the Bamenda city. Have a film about uh, polygamy, which I'm directly involved as a cinematographer. Uh, the the idea of, of the small documentary we want to do is like to give a, a neutral picture of the. The reality Second, the reality. I had to adapt a new lifestyle, which kept me out of the, the daily routine. During the project, at the beginning, uh, we need to sit down, talk from time to time, so that we always get to know this kind of high-level communication, so that I say something and somebody who is not from my setting understands what I'm saying precisely, so that we don't always, like, I say this, I say one thing and somebody takes me for another thing and I don't also get to understand somebody when, <laughs> when he speaks to me. I think those are our challenges on the field. Yeah, I also think there's some kind of, sometimes we have some kind of cultural misunderstanding. Today we're going to interview an instrumentalist. And I always thought he was playing jazz band because yeah. he said he played the jazz he played band. Jazz band. I thought he does jazz <laughs> music. Yeah. yeah, but it's just an instrument uh, for reggae music. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that till yesterday evening. So it's just sometimes we have some misunderstandings. <laughs> Now I have to come out and go into this plane. This plane that the guitar is, yeah. So I have to be like this way. You change your frame if I'm moving up. From what I understand, the struggle yeah. definitely can be overcome because it's at the beginning. We, we haven't worked before. So since we are working for the first time, we have to understand um, the difficulties each one face and the understanding of each and every person. Once we've already understood ourselves, then definitely we can work together and we overcome the struggle at the beginning. Yeah, I think one of the things I learned is that uh, generally you have to communicate very clear if you're working in a team. But now, since we're uh, yeah people from two different cultures, it's even more important to communicate very clear and also switching up the roles so everyone can uh, take over different positions. I, I mean, we are, we are all learning. That's, I, I, I love this. There, there is no one here who can say, hey, I'm, uh, I'm the expert. So uh, we, we're all learning by doing.
despite their <coughs> challenges, I can say that I think they will be happy. Every team should be happy with what they've done because, first of all, they're proud that they've spent three weeks doing something. This is wonderful in itself. Uh, apart from the fact that they may be sad by the challenges they encountered, but the fact that they overcame these challenges is what made everyone special. And the third goal was to um, yeah to work on this cooperation together because uh, yeah that's that's also the reason why we went here so quickly because we didn't want to come up with a plan for this just Godlove and the team in Germany but we, we wanted to include all of um, the members of Draufsicht. I mean now now it's not just Draufsicht Berlin it's also Draufsicht Bamenda so everyone should have a say and. Um, this is why we um, didn't only work on the videos here, um, but also on, on the project cooperation and what, what we want Draufsicht to be in the future. So maybe everyone could begin with um, asking themselves the question, what is my personal goal? What are my goals for me in this group? What do I want to achieve in this group, in, in this project with the cooperation between Bamenda and uh, Berlin? First thing that I learned in the whole process is that uh, besides the uh, Cameroon approach to certain societal, to certain global issues, I can also uh, like kind of employ the European approach to it because I've learned uh, two separate ways of approach, how you can tackle problems from this angle and how you can tackle the same problem from another angle so that if you don't find a solution to it from this from this point of view and you employ the, uh, the other point of view, definitely you can still have a, a possible solution to the global problem. To be to this Schneckmann game? If you don't like, do you, you don't want to go? I think we should do this. I, I certainly want to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely and it's closer to us than I thought. The only way to for. look but into the future of the world is true co corporations because we are getting more and more interconnected every day and this is the solution to the next world. Uh, such a cooperation is good because it is giving young people from one part of the world and young people from another part of the world to get together to see things differently. <laughs> So it's really quite a blend of um, so many um, heads and so many minds that are really coming together to form this team. And that is why we, in the, this team, we don't really believe in, we don't believe in, in maybe ideas that are, I would say, African or Eurocentric ideas or Afri Afrocentric ideas. We believe in global ideas. Um, I really hope that this cooperation will continue after our stay here in Cameroon. Uh, I think we lay the groundwork for that. Uh, during our visit here we got the opportunity to talk about what this project um, can be and should be for both uh, teams here in Cameroon and also back in Germany. I guess this, this trip was so important because now um, we, we kind of like know each other better and we know what, what the different realities are um, here and everyone feels more like this is something that belongs to us as, as a whole group, you know, and, and, and I think all of us want to continue with this and want to um, further develop it. So yes, I think we're definitely going to keep going. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.